best like no one ever was to catch them is my real test to train them is my cause Did you do all right a little slower but we gotta keep it. Pretty clean so far, and yeah, that makes the hand pretty strong. <laughs> What's up, Sleepy? Thank you so much for, for stopping in. Very much appreciate it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Alright, so they had no. Turn to play. That's fine. I think we're in pretty good shape right now. Looks like they could possibly be paying, playing the Boros Reanimator build. Which is extremely potent. Haven't really played against it yet. Have actually been trying to test it myself, so hopefully they don't, they don't win in the next couple turns. Yep, that's exactly what it is. X. Okay. Got the proper mana to play invoke, but they don't play it, which is fantastic because we do have an answer for it. Love to see it. Mm. Let's see, they might go. So if they go Wandering Emperor. I think I let it resolve because I think we'd lose if they play Invoke, so we'll just swing through, Emperor, get rid of Luminarch, that's fine. That's fine. Beautiful. Fantastic draw. I think we still play the Interceptor first, get a little bit of a board presence. Mm. Mm. Interesting. I think I'm gonna still cast this. Interesting. I think we let this go and then we can, I'd rather get rid of this and then have them both off the board. Let's see if he casts a second Emperor.
Okay. Didn't play the tap lands because we want to have three open for that, two open for that. So that's fine. Let's see, so if it goes one, two, three, four, five. So I think we have to take the damage and then end phase it. That way we're not jammed up. Okay. Now we can play it when he attacks. No targets, no discard. Oof. Um, yeah, I think we just disdainful that. Or wait. Maybe. Oh, you know what? We're gonna get aggressive. him to keep playing this each turn yeah because he doesn't have any interaction so that's fine okay I feel like there is a sense of urgency because these both flip next turn We'll just keep doing it, I think. I feel like we're in a pretty commanding position. Um, yeah, he has to draw something. They're extremely good to, to get himself out of this. Alright, see what happens. Nope. 
game. Game two. All right. Pretty cozy game one. I feel like we kind of. I don't, don't want to say had our way with with opponent, but they just couldn't really do much. Um, against the interaction, like they have seven drops. We just keep bouncing it back to hand. End it with a counter spell. Pretty easy. All right. I don't really know what they side. This is the first time playing against the Boros Reanimator. So. Do we just have a strong strong list against it? I feel like we do. I feel I want to bring in more to rest, but this definitely hits a bunch of important cards. Mm. Yeah, this is fun. We'll see what happens. I feel like we were just too far ahead in game one to really make any, any changes without knowing what they're going to board in, so we'll see how the second game goes. How's everyone in the chat doing today? I know Sleepy said it was pretty pretty late over there. I think we're about 12 hours apart. Not a main deck card. My code turn three fable. I'm trying to think. I don't think we keep the stainful up. I think we get our three drops down and play the stainful for like the like a turn five. I don't mind them drawing a card at all for their turn. Oh, must be missing land drops. Yeah, that's not good. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think we just get the, let's see, if they're missing land drops here. We just apply pressure here. but it's going to take a little bit of a hit this turn. Oof. One, two. Yeah, I think we just spam... Spam them scurs and win. Mm. We'll get a Kaido down, and I think having those three should be enough enough to lock the game down. Yeah, 
I think that's correct. Yeah, that's... there's no way. This is one of the decks that specifically prompted me to make this type of build, so... Stack, the Cami War deck. Yeah, I think this is game right here. Could play another Restoration, <coughs> which is fine. Just draw a card if he does. People. Start getting this flyer going. We'll just keep Interceptor and this thing pull open. Just in case he plays a 3 drop. So I, don't, I don't think there's anything, anything he can do. That win felt good. It's just the type of wins that, like, <clears throat> you can tell when a deck is kind of like barely winning or barely scraping by. Like that was extremely comfortable, ideal matchup for for the card choices we had. But in theory, that should be the same. Same for some of the other bigger decks too. Yeah.